In this video, we're going to do two things. First one being, we are currently setting it to replicate or to replicate the door. Using this variable here in Blueprint, we want to go ahead and set that up in C++ so it's like that by default. And then we also want to make our character, our client, not the server, be able to open the door as well. So currently, the server can open and close the door, but the client cannot. And that is because it is failing, like I said in the previous video, at this line here. So we need a way to go from the client to the server to be able to interact. So we're going to go ahead and start with the first one first, the replicated variable. Or not the replicated variable, the B replicates variable. So what we're going to do is just do B replicates. We're just going to set that equal to true. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to stop and build. And that's going to take care of that for us because that's now the new variable by default. Next up, we head over to our door tutorial character, go to our interact function. And here we need to go to the server. So pretty much we need to check if server and call server RPC. So that's what we're going to do here. So if as authority, we call door toggle door. Otherwise, we want to make a call to the server. So call to server. How do we do that? Well, that's if you watched any of my other videos or done some blueprint work or anything like that, and you're familiar with any multiplayer, you'll probably have heard the, the three letters RPC. So RPC is a way we what we're going to use in this case to go from the client to the server. And you can use this to go from the server to the client or the server to all clients and that kind of thing. And it's remote procedure call. So we're going to do, we're going to set one up for the server. So we're going to do a U function. Then our first parameter is going to be server. Then we want it to be reliable. And in this case, oh, I don't know if we actually need, yeah, we do need validation, I think. Eh, I don't know if we actually need with validation anymore. I'm not entirely sure. Anyhow, we're going to do void server underscore interact. So next up, I want to go ahead and generate the implementation. And as you can see, thank thankfully, Rider does this, which I didn't know about. It generated two functions instead of one, and they're all named differently. So what you need is you need a server underscore interacts, so the normal name of the function. Then you need underscore validate. And same thing goes for underscore implementation. Now keep note that the validate returns a boolean. <clears throat> so if this were to return true, the it would continue and make its way down to the implementation, and the implementation will then run. If this returns false, it never runs the implementation, it just stops it right here, and it also disconnects the calling client. So if the client did something and made this you know, condition here in our validate function return false, they would get kicked from the server. So we're gonna set it up to return true. And then in the server underscore interact implementation, we're just gonna simply do interact. So we're just gonna recall the same function. So now what we do is we call server underscore interact inside of our else statement where we need a call to the server. So let's give this a try and go ahead and build and run it. And now let's do a quick look at our door. Yep, replicates is now set to true and it's default. And let's give our interaction a try. So we can open and close it from the server. And on the client, we can now open and close the door as well. So we are now good to go. We are pretty much finished with our door. Now, the only thing that I want to do now is continue on with these comments right here. So we're going to, instead of casting to our door, what we're going to do is check if the actor implements an interface. If it does, we want to make a call. Well, we're going to call a function on that interface that is going to just kind of do the exact same thing. Now, I'll explain in the next video kind of why we would want to use interfaces instead. So I'm going to save that for then. But in this case, we are done with what we're going to do in this video here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually remove our little log. 
And because we're going to be redoing this a little bit, we're just going to get rid of these comments. But we want to keep these. So I'll see you in the next video. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon down in the description below, where I also have a Team Deathmatch series where we create Team Deathmatch in C++ with Unreal Engine. Just for my Patrons, where we create a bunch of other miscellaneous features as well. And if you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord down below, and I'll try to help you out the best I can. So, as usual, I'll see you in the next video.